Today it's a margarita master class and I'm going to give you all of the basic rules that I follow for the absolute best margaritas. So rule number one is always start with fresh squeezed lime juice. It will give you the brightest flavor. Even the stuff in your supermarket that is called fresh squeezed lime juice will have a dead flavor compared to the really fresh squeezed stuff. Now the second rule that I follow is to follow the proportions of a great margarita. All margaritas are based on the proportions of a sour drink. So what are those proportions? It's one and a half to two ounces of your base spirit. Here that's going to be tequila. About an ounce of something sour. Here it's going to be fresh squeezed lime juice. And about an ounce of something that is sweet. Now that's where we got a lot more choices and we'll come to that in just a second. Let's start with the tequila. You have three choices to, for making margaritas with different flavor profiles. And I have them right here. You have Blanco tequilas, which are unaged and very bright. You have Reposado tequila, which is going to be a little mellower. And of course you have an Añejo tequila, which is going to give you absolutely the smoothest, smoothest margarita that you could have. Today, my taste goes towards something that's really bright. So I'm going to put a couple of ounces of Blanco tequila in here. And I'm going to follow that by one full ounce of lime juice. That's because I want this to be as bright as possible. If I didn't want it quite so bright, I would come down on the amount of lime juice going into it. Now, let's talk about that sweet element that's going in here. For me, um, it's going to be a split between orange liqueur and either simple syrup or agave syrup. Today, I'm going to use agave syrup for this, and you can find it in all kinds of places these days because it gives a better texture to the finished margarita. In other words, it will have better mouthfeel. I'm going to put a half of a, an ounce of that in there. Next thing here is to choose which orange liqueur that I want. Basically, they fall into two categories. We have the clear ones, Cointreau being the most famous of those, and uh, one that I really like a lot, which is Combier, which I think is super well made. And then we have the ones that are brandy based. Uh, of course, Grand Marnier is the most famous of those. Uh, Combier also makes a Royal Combier, which is brandy based as well. Now, I didn't say anything about triple sex here. Um, this is one of my favorite triple sex, and this is the one that is Pierre Ferrand, and it just says dry Curacao triple sec on the label. But most of the triple sex that you find are going to be clear and fall into this category over here. If you want your margarita be to be the absolute brightest in flavors, you're going to choose the ones that are clear. If you're looking for something that is super mellow, go for the brandy based ones or this variety of the dried curacao that has a super smooth edge to it. Okay, so I'm going to put in for this one because I'm going all bright flavors, a little bit of the clear uh, orange liqueur, a half an ounce of that. So it finishes up our other half ounce of something sweet. I have ice in my shaker already here. And I'm going to just put the top on there. And before I do the shaking on that, I will prepare my glass. Now I know it's very common for everyone to, to, to be asked whether they want salt on the rim of the glass or not. For me, it is absolutely necessary because the flavor of the salt enhances the flavor of the tequila. Just try it sometimes with and without. Maybe you're one of these people that wants to put half a rim of salt on there so you can enjoy it both ways. But for me, salt is an essential part of the recipe of a margarita. So I've got the salt crusted coupe glass here. I'm going to give this thing a, a, a shake at this point and I'm going to shake it for a, a full 10 to 15 seconds. 
because that's the amount of time that it takes to thoroughly chill it, to thoroughly dilute it, which is something that's important here, and to give us something that we think is going to be a really, really perfectly balanced cocktail. So we'll pour this in here and shake it so that any little shards of ice can float on the top and enhance the visual refreshment that you have in front of you. I hope that this tutorial, this masterclass in making a margarita will bring you a lot of joy through the years. Salud. You want to make a smooth margarita? Let's just start all over. We're going to use uh, Añejo tequila. So I'm going to pour in two ounces of that, followed by an ounce of fresh lime juice, followed by my half ounce of agave syrup. followed by the brandy-based orange liqueur. And I'm gonna use the combier because I like its complexity the best. I've already got a coupe glass here that is rimmed with salt. So I'll put the top onto the shaker and give it that 10 seconds, 15 seconds of vigorous, vigorous shaking. And then and get the two sides apart, strain the mixture into our prepared glass. You'll notice a big difference in the color of this one, much more golden. Be sure to shake out all of the little shards of ice you've created. And now you have a very smooth margarita experience. Mm -hmm.